Oh, it's got iron in it too. In this video, I'm gonna take you out to the Arizona gold fields and we're gonna do a little metal detecting. So come on, let's go. Look at all that float. Oh, let's chase it up the hill. Chasing it up the hill, baby, yeah. Oh, look at what I see. Look at that big old monker. Yeah. That means there's, a, there's an outcropping around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. I can feel it in me bones. Look at that. Even more. Ooh, a little bit of mineralization in this one. That's a good sign. There's gotta be a vein, or if not several veins, in this area. Look at that. It's coming from up there on top of the hill. And you can see where you've got little inclusions of iron, which used to be pyrite. And then, what has happened is a lot of, see those cubes in there? Those used to be pyrite. And they're technically called a pseudomorph. And they pseudomorphed into what? Gothite. Look at this, huge, huge vein structure right here. See that? Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting closer. Look at that, huge structure. And of course, these old trumpet plants. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So there must be a vein running right through here. That's right, it's a good place for a metal detector too. Look at that, isn't that nice? I can see quartz all along those hills over there. You see those draws over there? Perfect place for metal detecting. Mother Nature's done all the work for you. Ooh, I might just have to run over there and do some metal detecting. Oh man, I love it. This is a perfect time of day too. The shadows are beautiful right about now. What do you think? You want to come doing a little metal detecting out here with me? Talk some more geology? Because this whole area has got different, different episodes of geology going on here. It didn't happen in one shot and it's still happening today. The weather's perfect too. What are you doing at home, son? You should be out metal detecting or dry washing or prospecting. Ooh, this type of weather's perfect. Unless you're back east where it's snowing and raining. <laughs> Ooh, trumpet plants everywhere. You know about trumpet plants, don't you, boy? No? You don't know about trumpet plants? Oh, allow me to educate you, son, real quick. All right. There you are. Can you see me now, boy? This is a trumpet plant. See that? You can't miss them. See that little bulb on the end there? <laughs> That's a trumpet plant. That's why they call it a trumpet plant because it's swollen there. Anyway, they grow in heavily mineralized areas. And the old timers would look for these things because they were indicators of mineralized soil. A lot of black sand. It doesn't mean there's gold there, but it's a good place to look. Now, I've checked lots of places with these trumpet plants and it's hit and miss. So it's not a for sure thing. But if you're dry washing, instead of metal detecting it, it's a good indicator and that's what I would recommend. But for metal detecting, it's hit and miss. I'm gonna get up in that draw and take a look, boy. Are you with me? I said, are you with me? Well, if you're with me, then smash that like button. Smash it hard, boy, yeah! I'm running a Gold Monster 1000. This is a VLF, which stands for very low frequency. And I'm running this guy right here. This is a PI, pulse induction machine. This is a Garrett ATX deep seeker, boy. And it's got the huge deep seeker coil. Look at that marker, huh? Is it big enough for you, boy? Oh, I got my pinpointer and my digging tool and of course my scoop. 
that I got from Doc. And I'll leave a link down to Doc's place because he's got everything in his warehouse and he's a great guy. I've known him for 20, 30 years. Look at this. I got oodles of quartz. I got bugs in the quartz. I got iron in the quartz. That's some lichen in there too. If you don't know what lichen is, I ain't liking lichen too much. Oh, there's quartz everywhere. Look at this. Quartz there, quartz there, quartz everywhere. Why did I bring two detectors, you may ask? Come on, son, if you have to ask that, go back to school. We're gonna hit everything with the PI machine, and I'm gonna hit everything with the VL. That's what happens when you have gold fever, boy. Sometimes this big old deep seeker here can miss the little, little tiny ones, the subgrammers. Well, I'll tell you what, this thing ain't missing nothing, especially with that five inch circular on it. it ain't missing nothing. So I'm gonna go over this area, check it out, and see what we can find, boy. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Hey! You know what I'm gonna say! My name is Jeff. So come on! Let's go. Ooh, I hate doing frequency scans. So boring. Can't stay awake. Hurry up with your frequency scan already. Tell me, be crazy. Oh, thank you. All right, let's ground balance it. All right, when it's quiet like that, you're good. I said quiet like that. I like working from the bottom up to the top of the draw. I don't want to be too close to the very bottom because if you think about it, all this material sloughed off down at the very bottom, be too deep to find anything. You're gonna look for where the gradient changes. Right here's where the gradient changes, so this is where I'm starting. I got my sensitivity at 12. I love these machines because they punch down deep and they're not affected by mineralization. Heavy irons in the soil. But when you're done working this for about four hours, you're gonna feel like Popeye, I guarantee it. And it's hard to get in between these bushes. Now, when you find a target, remember, you're gonna do your, your cross pattern. You're gonna go left and right. Then at 90 degrees, you're gonna go side to side. If the target repeats, you dig it. If it doesn't, you don't dig it. You dig it? Keep that coil to the soil, boy. Oh, look at this. All right, boy, come here, take a look. This is what you'd hit with the VLF. See that? That's caliche. That's an artificial bedrock out here. Because the real bedrock is about maybe a mile down. The gold's going to sit on top of that. It's great for VLS. These guys too, if you have the right coil. I've got the big deep seeker on there, so it might miss the smaller gold. But I'll come back and hit that with a VLF. Because I'm not carrying them all around. Oh, my pants up. Now what you want to do is where other people have been digging, check that out because they might have missed some. Now, on this ATX, it's got two different tones. High low, low high. You want high low? High low though. The reason why is because most of the time high low is going to be gold. Can be ferrous material too. Hear that? High low. See that? But I can't repeat it. If I can't repeat it both ways, I'm not gonna mess with it. And I always go over other people's diggings and their dirt pile. Cause they don't ever check it. Nice thing about the PIs is you can go slow. VLFs, you have to swing fast. All right, boy, let's keep going. Oh, you hear that, boy? High low, high low. And I 
can repeat the, the signal, the target. Ooh, and look at all this quartz right in here too. Look at that. See all this? Ooh, and look at that green stone. That's called Adventurite. It's got that Mariposite green to it. All right. Now we're gonna pinpoint it with the VLF. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited, boy. Come on. Now to ground balance these little guys, you just gotta pump them. I like to set mine, see this one on the sensitivity? All the way up where the black dot comes in, back off one. And then for your coil depth, deep. And then of course for your volume all the way up. And you're looking for this top guy to do wobble pop. <laughs> see how easy it is to pinpoint that? And of course I brought my, my pinpointer too. Now look at this, come here, look boy, hurry up. Look, look, watch. Yeah, that's a strong one too. All right, now I'm gonna probably dig this probably with the VLF. Well, I could dig with either one, doesn't matter. Woo! I like it because there's this huge uh, outcropping here, a float. See this? Oh, there's gotta be a vein there. Where's my digging tool? What the heck did I do with it? Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Boy, get down here. And that's super loud. Oh, yeah, now you're talking. Get my scoop out. I got to get a better belt out there. Oh, look at that. Right there. Okay. Now, mind you, these aren't sensitive on the edges, just on the bottom. So remember that. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, wrong tool, wrong tool. <laughs> Hush! All right, it's out of the hole. It's out of the hole, baby. Where are you? <laughs> out of... Hush! I don't know about you, but I get excited every time I find a nugget. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap. Oh, come on now. Monker. Mysterious floating nugget. Oh. That's the problem bringing two detectors. What the heck? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> what 
What the heck was that? What the heck is going on? Don't tell me it's a bullet. glasses at <laughs> oh, look 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 at that marker <laughs> look at it it's huge I gotta check that other hole <gasps> oh it's got iron in it too look at that marker and quartz I gotta check this other hole. What the heck, man? This is what it's all about, boy. This is what it's all about. I'm gonna go over this stuff again. Cause if there's one, there's more. Remember that, boy. If there's one nugget, there's gotta be more. That bitch is coming for that cart spade. I know I heard a signal, didn't you, boy? Right here. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, baby. That's the effects of gold fever, boy. <laughs> yeah. Is it that one? Oh. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll put that one there because that sounds weird. Put that there. Alright, baby, where are you? <laughs> Yeah! Look at that marker! That's what I'm talking about! Oh. Ooh, it's got quartz in it too! Look at that marker! Yeah! <laughs> I told you where there's one, there's more. Oh, I'm gonna hunt this, uh, this little patch here a little bit more, and then I'm gonna mark it on a map. And then that way I can grid it off later. Then I'm gonna come back with a dry washer, and I'm gonna dry wash this whole section out. Ooh, cause I know there's tons of gold in here. Woo, oh, the sun's going down. That means the umpa umpas are coming out. All right, I'm gonna check real quick, make sure there's nothing else. Then we'll head down to the truck and take a look at them. Come on, boy, yeah! Oh man, it's getting cold out. I had to put my jacket on. And here's another thing, I forgot this guy. My pin pointer. You know, I don't know why I bring this darn thing. I don't ever use it. Not out here, not if I'm bringing a VLF. Look at that beautiful sunset. You see that sunny boy, isn't that nice? Oh, but when it gets dark out here, it gets cold really fast. Ooh, and I'm not staying out here after dark. Oh, no, no, no. All right, so I'm gonna clean those chunks of gold up here and and weigh them up so you can see what they look like all bright and shiny and how much they weigh. Before, before we get on out of here, I got some more bonus material for you, boy. Something special I think you're gonna like. All right, so there's a few more things I wanna go over while I got your attention. First, you're gonna be coming out 
in these areas like this, make sure you know the land status. And I told you to go to landmatters.com. I'll leave a link down below. Two, if you're needing and mining equipment, two places I can recommend. That's Docs, over at Docs Prospecting Supplies, Detecting Supplies. And I'll leave a link down below for that. And the other one is the Gold Lady in Kingman. And I'll leave a link down below for that. Her name is Retta. Her and Darren operate that store out there. And they're good people, really good people. And Darren knows more about Mine Lab than anybody I've met. Well, him and Rob Allison, they both are pretty good. Now, Christmas is coming up. And I thought it'd be real nice to give that gold away. Don't you think that'd be nice, huh? As a Christmas present. So we're going to go ahead and give it away to one of our premium patrons. How's that sound? Just our way of saying thank you for helping us keep the dream alive and all their support. Because I couldn't do any of this without them. And of course, for my YouTube subscribers, when we reach 200,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away 200 bags of pay dirt. That's what we're doing for you guys. So don't think that you guys are left out, all right? Now, if you'd like to get in on getting some of that gold or some of the gold we get out of the drift mine, and you want to become a premium patron and show your support, and your love, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link at the end of the video that looks something like that. Go ahead and click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flint. We really would appreciate that. And don't forget to hit the like button too, because that really helps on the, the algorithms for YouTube, really helps the video. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, you should subscribe. And I just told you, we'll be giving away 200 bags of taters to our subscribers. It don't cost you anything, it's free. And it only takes a second to hit that little button. So anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here because it's getting dark. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? That's right, big juicy gold nuggets. Saying you like those big nuggets? Well, we do too. Come along for the ride, boy, and you might get some AU. Take care, everybody. Yeah.